Hi there, we're going to take a quick look at installing the Cab Grid plugin and configuring it. First, I'm going to log into a WordPress install. This will take me to the admin area. Now I'm going to go to plugins and add new. And up in the top right here, I'm going to search for Cab Grid. Here it is. I'm just going to click install now. Okay, once it's installed, I click activate plugin. And that's it for the basic installation process. You'll notice there's a new settings item appeared in the admin menu on the left here. Now I'm going to do a little basic configuration. First off, I need to define the areas between which my journeys will happen. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to use large cities, but you may want to choose airports or even local areas in which you operate. I should point out that these will appear in the order they are entered on your website. Okay, once we've entered all the areas, just click Save Changes. Now you can click the Prices tab. Here we see a grid of all the areas. The Start location, down the column on the left, and the To location, along the row on the top. You'll note that you can go from London to London. This might be useful if you operate journeys within a single area. So say five pounds for any journey going from the same location to the same location. This cell here is from London to Birmingham. So we'll put in a fee of 50 pounds. Move to the next cell along, which is from London to Manchester. Let's say 100 pounds. From London to Leeds, 150, and so on. Okay, we can also do the same for any journey coming to London from these locations. So from Birmingham to London, well, we could enter the same price, 50 pounds. But let's say we wanted to have a slightly different price if we were going from Manchester to London perhaps to cover the expenses of getting to Manchester. So we'll say 150 and so on. So you can define different prices for outbound journeys compared to inbound journeys, or you could just leave them exactly the same. So uh, London to Edinburgh, we put 200, so we'll put 200. That may be that you don't want to, to do any return journeys, so you would only fill in from London to all these areas and that would be all you need to do. Uh, you, if you leave the rest of these areas blank then no price will be displayed and your customer won't be able to book. I'm just going to enter a few extra prices to um, beef this up for the purposes of this demo. Once I've entered all the prices that I'd like I just click Save Changes. And lastly, under Options, we can define some custom variables. So we might want to change the currency symbol from the pound sign to the dollar sign. And we could make the background color for our version of this plugin different. If you know a bit of CSS, you can just enter it here. So I'll make this red just for it to make it stand out to begin with. And lastly, there's a message. This is shown to the customer after they've got the price. Uh, you can enter what you like here, but I think I'll just leave it as it is for now. So we're all configured. Now we need to place it on the website. To do this, you can use the short code cabgrid. So it's shown here, including the square brackets. I'm just going to copy this onto my clipboard. 
and then I need a place to put it. So I'm going to go to all pages. I have a page set up here called Cap Grid Demo. I'm going to edit this and I'm going to type please select your journey below to get a price. Just paste in the short code. Click update. Now if I view the site so we can see our plugin has been loaded. We select so London to London. We saw that that would only be five pounds or dollars because we changed the currency. Let's change it to Edinburgh because remember that being 200. There we go. And we said there might be some variance if you did London to Manchester or if you do Manchester to London. By the way, you can type in these fields here just to uh, shorten the process. Now, if we choose a journey for which we didn't enter anything, so let's see, probably something like Glasgow to Cardiff, you see no price is available for this journey. There is one other way to implement the Cab Grid plugin, and that is as a widget. So to do that, you go to Appearance in your WordPress admin and then Widgets. You'll see a cab grid item in the available widgets. Just drag this to your sidebar area where you want it to appear. I'm going to say book a cab as the title and I'm going to leave the, the height to 320, but you can adjust this if you want. Now, if we go back to our site, this area on the right here, that's the widget area. If I just refresh the page, we're now getting a version of the plugin showing in the widget area. It has a slightly different format. Now, I don't like this red background, so I'm just going to go back in to Cab Grid settings and into options and just remove that and let it run as its default background color. Just refresh the page. There you have it. For more information about CabGrid, please visit cabgrid.com.